Hi friends, I am Asmitha. Welcome to my channel. Steven Andrade, 46, from New Jersey, demands up to £2,000 per appearance to perform as share, raking in £500,000 before 2017. Steven has even made appearances in Vanity Fair and Rolling Stone magazine to his work as an impersonator. The American, who closely resembles the 76-year-old goddess of pop, has never undergone any cosmetic surgery. Instead, the former account executive puts his incredible likeness down to clever makeup and the thousands he spends on recreating her iconic outfits. At school Steven was beaten up by fellow students because of his feminine appearance. At school, Stephen was targeted by cruel classmates who called him a girl and beat him up. Kids at school used to beat me up in the corridors, saying I looked like a girl, he said. Growing up, his parents were very religious missionaries and according to Mr. Andrade, he lived a sheltered childhood. After dropping out of school, Stephen was spotted by a promoter who hired him to dress as Cher to promote his nightclub. Unbelievably Stephen was unaware of who Cher was when he began impersonating her. Strangely, I was working as an Alanis Morissette impersonator at the time and, after putting on my makeup, everyone commented about how much I actually looked like Cher, Stephen said. Embarrassingly at the time, I didn't know who Cher was. He soon became a devoted fan himself when he discovered how famous and amazing the Belief singer was, after researching and buying her books. Stephen, who is so convincing he has been performing as Cher for years, said, I never intended to be a drag queen but I'm blessed to have accomplished so much. Stephen has been performing as Cher after being spotted by a promoter. The real Cher who Steven is a dead ringer for after he spent time applying his makeup and making his costumes. I have achieved more than any of the bullies who tormented me for being who I was. Now I'm touring the world, meeting amazing, creative people and it's all thanks to Cher and my looks. The doppelganger's career as a lookalike has enabled him to travel the globe. Steven is so realistic in his role that Rolling Stone magazine printed a picture of him as Cher instead of the real singer, in 2013. Once he was even hired as Cher's decoy so she could fool paparazzi photographers waiting to snap her. He said, Cher entered a press record release party through a hidden entrance while I acted as a decoy in another room with her bodyguards. It felt amazing, it was such an honor. He now spends three hours per show transforming into the star. He also spends an average of £1,000 each time he recreates one of Cher's iconic looks, making the outfits by hand. Steven said, the most I spent on one outfit was £1,700, which was a coat embedded with 3,000 Swarovski crystals. He spent four to six weeks making each costume. He has even made appearances in Vanity Fair and Rolling Stone magazine and landed himself on popular US talk show Ricky Lake. He says, people are very surprised at the contrast between day and night. I'm a man's man, I go kayaking, fishing and have renovated my own house. I'm in no way flamboyant, so it's a shock to people when they learn about my impersonation act. Steven has met the superstar herself many times throughout his career. We chat like old friends and she's always telling me how fabulous and authentic I am, said Steven. I hope to emulate Cher's long career. I love performing and I'm blessed to be able to impersonate such a music legend. It's a slap in the face to the bullies. Now I'm beating them.
Thanks guys for watching this video.